And thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock tonight. New developments out of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. In just the last hour, police telling the community there to remain vigilant as they continue to follow up on multiple leads in the death of a 10-year-old reported missing just last night. Police say Lily Peters was reported missing around 9 o'clock last night after she did not return home from her aunt's house. And this morning, her body was found in a wooded area near a walking trail just blocks away. Uh, Rob Olson is live tonight for us. Rob, police asking anyone with information or potential information to come forward as they continue to search for a suspect. Yeah, and Randy, the scene here, uh, it's near the line in Kugel's Brewery, still an active investigation scene here. The mobile command unit still back there. We've seen investigators throughout the day uh, combing through the woods back here, obviously searching for additional evidence. It is in this area behind me uh, that we were told that the little girl's body was found this morning. Now, let's show you a picture here of 10-year-old Ileana uh, Peters. Goes by Lily, a 10th grader. She was a fourth grader, uh, pardon me, 10 years old. She was a fourth grader at an elementary school here in town. She was reported missing at nine o'clock Sunday night by her father when she failed to return home from her aunt's house on her bicycle. Uh, searchers then uh, shortly after that found her bicycle in the woods near a trail here called Pigs Run. It's a walking and bike path along Duncan Creek here uh, that she would have potentially used as a route to her own home from Grove Street where she was at her aunt's house, not that far away. Now again, uh, as they continue to search this morning around 915, they found her body in the woods a short distance down this bike path and up the hill a little bit and uh, certainly sent this community into a lot of shock. As the police chief mentioned uh, just an hour ago, uh, that this is something that is really, really shaken Chippewa Falls. Chippewa Falls is a safe community. This is a very rare occurrence. However, we, we have to be cognizant uh, to the fact that uh, it will require some additional vigilance here today. And an event like this threatens our sense of security. However, I believe we will come together as a community to overcome this fear. A number of law enforcement agencies helping investigate, among them the uh, uh, DCI here, which is Wisconsin's versions of Minnesota's BCA. And again, still on the scene here looking for evidence and asking for any tips from the public uh, to be phoned in uh, that they could use any help that they could get at this point. I asked the chief, you know, what was it that turned this from a missing person into a homicide investigation? And he wouldn't elaborate except to say, obviously, evidence at the scene was a pretty clear indication that that is what they were dealing with. Spoke to several neighbors around here. None of them wanted to go on camera because they're pretty shaken up by this, but said that, yeah, this is a shocking development in a community like this to hear something like this happening. One man out walking his dogs, said he was out last night walking his dogs too around nine o'clock and heard a, a, a short, sharp scream. Uh, doesn't know that that was uh, uh, the, you know, related to this or not, but now he can't help but think it potentially was, and it's really got him shaken as well. Absolutely, and you know, there's a sense that people should be aware of their surroundings right now. So the school district, Rob, they're also sending out a message to parents. What are they saying tonight? Well, they're telling the district here to, uh, you know, to, to speak about this with their with their children to talk about what happened here and what's going on so that they clearly understand uh, what's happening and also to be very vigilant with them as well. Don't let them walk home from school or to school or ride their bikes at this point unattended. Pick them up if possible just to be extra safe during this time, uh, you know, until they, they can come out with more information about what's what's happened here but just to accompany your kids to and from school during this. You know, another neighbor across the street tonight said, you know what, my kids are going to be sleeping in my bed with mm. me tonight. Back to you. Rob Olson live in Chippewa Falls tonight. And stay with Fox 9 for the very latest.